Welcome back to the channel. This is Gillis TV here today, and we got a discussion video here with, about the Carolina Hurricanes. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that like button. As I was going through the stats for the Carolina Hurricanes, and something popped out to me. Sebastian Ajo had more than a point per game for the Carolina Hurricanes last season. No one else did. What also stood out to me was the fourth leading scorer from last season, Vincent Trocek, has left the team. So that makes me think there's a couple guys that need, well, in quotations, breakout seasons, as one guy has only played one season, put up 40 points. Another guy can put up points, had a down year considering what he did the previous year. So let's start with the guy that's only played one year but is a superstar in the making, Seth Jarvis. What can we say about this kid? He came into Carolina this year, put on a show, and, you know, like I said, ultimately had 40 points in 68 games, so more than a half a point per game player. He was a plus 11. Uh, he had 8 points in 14 games in the playoffs too, which is incredible for a first-year player in the NHL. But you look at all his stats, and he only took 18 penalty minutes. That's huge. That's nine penalties in 68 games. He's disciplined. He can play on the power play. He had six power play points. He had four game-winning goals. He had one overtime goal. The kid shot 15.5% last year. On 110 shots, he scored 17 goals. So he needs to shoot a little bit more. And his face-off was 44%. So that, of course, can translate into being better there as he is the center. But Seth Jarvis, the sky's the limit for this kid. And with the next guy I'm going to talk about, as Seth can realistically score 25-plus goals. It's realistic he can with a shooting percentage of 15.5 he shoots you know 50 more shots that's easily at least eight more goals he's at that 25 goal mark and the Carolina Hurricanes losing Vincent Trocek will need him to step up with Pacioretty being out due to injury for however long he's out for Jarvis should be able to slide into and do more this year. Shoot the puck a bit more. As that that will help too. If you have a shooting percentage of 15.5. I'm sorry. You shoot the puck a bit more. Yes it will go down from 15.5. But you'll still get more goals. Because you're shooting more. Now second player here for the Carolina Hurricanes. Like I said. Had a great year a few years ago. Putting 41 points up in 53 games. Martin Nikas. He was, in, he was talked about in the whole Kachuk trade deal. Apparently, Carolina was in on Kachuk. Martin Nikas was one of the players rumored to be heading out of Carolina if that ever did happen. But you know what? I'm going to say this proudly. It's probably a good thing Carolina didn't trade Martin Nikas for Matthew Kachuk and whatever else they offered. The guy can play hockey. He has 119 points in 203 games, so more than a half point per game player. He has 45 goals and 74 and 74 assists. He's a plus 24. He's only taken 64 career penalty minutes in 203 games. That's insane. That's only 32 penalties in those games. He also has power play experience, shorthanded experience game winning goals so we look at the previous two years two years ago 41 points in 53 games like I said he kind of fell off last year 40 points in 78 games he was a plus 25 two years ago plus five last year he only had five penalty minutes two years ago while he had 16 or five penalties while he had 16 last year he had 15 points on the power play two years ago only six so that kind of affects the numbers too. When your power play numbers go down, your statistics will go down. He's pretty good on the penalty kill. He had six game winning goals last year. He had one overtime goal. He shot 159 times with only 88 or 8.8% .8 shooting. 
But like I said, when you shoot more than 150 times, your shooting percentage will be down. As he had 14 goals last year. And he realistically could be a 20 goal scorer if used correctly. Like I said, Vincent Tro checks out. You're going to need a huge year from Martinikas. It's going to help your team. You need secondary scoring. I know there's Teravine in. Um, the other winger on Ajo's line there. But other than that, looking at this, you lost your fourth leading scorer who only had... He had a decent year, not going to lie, in Trocek. But then your defenseman and Tony D'Angelo was up there. Then you, you also had Slavin up there as well for the Hurricanes. Uh, Niederreiter had 44 and 75. Slavin, 42 and 79. Then you got Jarvis and Nikas. Then you got Brady Shea, who had 39 and 82. Jordan Stahl, 36 and 78. Fast, 34 and 82. Then Kokaniemi, 29 and 66. Secondary scoring needs to happen somewhere, and it has to come from these two guys. I could see Nino you know, need a rider, but I'm going to stick with these two guys as Trocek had 51 points and was fourth in scoring on your team while tied for fourth with Tony D'Angelo. Well, Seth Jarvis and Martinikas need breakout seasons. They need to become the players that Carolina want, needs them to be to become successful. Like I said, Pacioretty's out for who knows how long he's out for. These guys need to step up. And do it. It's no... I'm not saying they played terrible last year. I'm not saying that. But these two guys need to have breakout seasons to help Carolina out. Because that secondary scoring last year was not there essentially. When your top three players had 65 plus points. Then it drops to 51. Then it drops to 44. Then it's like high 30s. Then drops right down to the high 20s. No one, No one in between. That's all I'm saying. Let me know in the comments what you guys think these guys should have. Because I believe Seth Jarvis can be a 60-point player in the NHL. Same with Martin Nikas. They just needed a little bit of time. This was Jarvis's first year in the NHL. Martin Nikas having a down year last year a little bit. Still got to that 40-point mark. But not as better power play points or anything as the year before. But hey, let me know in the comments. I hope you guys have a good one. I'll catch you on the next one.